tonight. We've done a lot of games together. Rehashing the same story. Lines. Turnovers, of course, always a big story. Quarterback play, running backs, yada, yada, yada. But getting ready for this one, one word kept coming to mind, and that's preparation. Well, it's critical to be prepared physically, mentally. When you think about getting ready for an NFL game, you have to wonder, what will they throw at us that maybe we haven't seen before? Two-minute drill, maybe different things like that. Got to be prepared. You're exactly right. Seems like we were just starting training camp, but here we are in October, and off we go on EA Sports. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. So now here are the Broncos to take over on offense, led out by their rookie quarterback, drafted 12th overall, Bo Nix out of Oregon. And he really established himself as one of the best quarterbacks in the country a season ago. 45 touchdown passes and only three interceptions. A dynamic athlete, processes a lot of information in a short amount of time, and puts his team in a great position to win on each and every down. You don't break the NCAA record for highest completion percentage without having all those attributes, and I think that he'll translate very well in Denver. The first carry now, this is Williams. Five yards on the game's first play, second down. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it, and to be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that, so when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. Here's Nix. Man open. He's got it complete to Portland Sutton. And Sutton will have the Broncos first down up near the 40-yard line. Nine yards on the pick up there, and it keeps the drive alive. Sutton gets past the sticks, and that play reminds us of the potential that he has and the production that he's given in the past something he's certainly hoping to get back to this season. To throw his Knicks. That's to the former Lion, Josh Reynolds. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. That one good for 13 and a Denver first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. That is caught. Josh Reynolds. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. But give the rookie another one on this opening drive and a first down with it. A nice start, Charles, for the first-year passer. He's come out, made a few plays, nice plays to begin this contest. He certainly has. And if he finishes off this drive with a touchdown pass, I vote we don't call him rookie anymore. We'll move him right to veteran and continue from there. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Sutton. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. And after that play, we've got an injury, and it appears to be to Cortland Sutton. We'll step aside and get a report when we come back to Denver. Two yards to go, second down. To throw. Here's Nix. And he will find his man on the end route. Complete. And he is into the end zone for a Denver touchdown. Marvin Mims, an 18 yard touchdown grab. And the Broncos get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. Walking into the stadium, we saw a ton of people donning the jerseys of this rookie quarterback, so you know they love that opening drive, and he throws a touchdown pass. He gave a little bit of confirmation about what they had hoped, right? Because they thought they had a quarterback. They're thinking they have a quarterback. You do this, they believe they've got a quarterback. Look up elbowing each other up in the stands. That's our guy. Will Lutz on for the point after. And he's got it. 7-0 Broncos. 
A drive that time of six plays. And it ends with a Denver touchdown. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. So out come the Raiders for their opening drive and at the helm in his first year in silver and black, sixth season overall, Gardner Minshew. And he's someone who brings a ton of personality with him, but don't let that fool you. He's more than capable of playing winning football at this level and has actually done so. I don't know if he's their long-term answer under center, but as long as he trots out there, they'll have a puncher's chance and maybe a bit more to compete with any team they line up against. First carry of the game from Zamir White. He'll work his way up the middle for a gain of about four, second down. Well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to the feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. They'll go play action here with Minshew. And his throw here is incomplete. Charles already trailing by a touchdown early. This offense, how imperative is it for them to get points out of this drive? Well, they feel like they have to go ahead and match because of what was already on the board against their defense. But I think even more so, you just want to avoid three and outs. You want to be able to stay on the field for a little while, let your defense catch their breath a little bit, even if you don't score any points. And the Broncos get there and take him down. And that'll bring up fourth down on the big sack with a loss of five. And every game we talk about what are going to be the keys as we go into it. Maybe that's a key for their defense today. Pressure the quarterback and make sure you play a good zone defense behind them. And they get their first sack of the contest. On fourth down, A.J. Cole comes on to punt. And Marvin Mims deep for Denver. He'll send this one into the mile high air, and it's a good one. And the fair catch is made at about the 27-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Broncos take over, first down and 10. They begin the drive with Williams. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. Now second and five. Again, it's Williams. And he's dropped just before the line to game. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you've got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean or else he'll just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. Heavy set out there on third and one. They'll try and run for it. Here's Williams. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. They're able to convert with a gain of four. It wasn't a goal line situation, but how about the goal line formation on third and short? They went in and went heavy. No surprise on who was going to get the football. How about the power exhibited there? Yeah, that was just put a hat on a hat, drive forward. Nice job to pick it up. Now a first down carry. It's Williams. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front, 
and weighing in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Second and six. Up the middle, it's Williams. Able to push his way through. Pushing forward for three up to the 48. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. Throwing Knicks. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he will have the Broncos first down. They needed three. He doubled that. He got six. Someone sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass in the first drive and comes right back, and he's flinging it around really well here. Really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him, and I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, I was really impressed with that last practice we saw when they went through two-minute drill, when they went through all the different situations. Ball hardly hit the ground, and I thought, yeah, he might be locked in for this one. As a linebacker, you're taught to stay just slightly behind the ball carrier just in case he makes a cutback. But when you find the gap, shoot it. And he found it all right. Took it straight into the backfield and made the tackle for a loss. On the slant, completes to Sutton. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 34-yard line. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves the sticks. Well, as a coach, you absolutely love seeing your offense find their rhythm early, and that's exactly what we've seen so far. They had a touchdown on their opening drive, and now they connect here for another nice game for a first down. This offense is moving the ball well, exactly as he drew it up in practice. And he'll take this ahead for about four, second down coming up. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown, so a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later, and let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. Now it's Knicks. And this is incomplete. So many offenses want to include their running backs into their passing offense and be able to swing the ball out or check it down to them. But sometimes those guys are just not as comfortable catching the ball as they are running it. They need to get this to the 24 on third down. Knicks to the air. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. It's all pretty simple sometimes, isn't it? Go where the defenders are not, and he does exactly that. Makes a nice catch to move the chains. Defense, got to find a better way of accounting for the shorter routes that are being run against them. So another third down conversion, and now they've got a first and goal. Back to throw. Knicks. Touchdown, Broncos. Cortland Sutton, a five-yard touchdown. And the Broncos are off to a 13-0 first quarter lead. Well, this has been a flawless start for them. They score, they get the stop, and they score again, Charles. Complimentary football at its finest. You just mentioned how they got it done. They scored. The defense got the ball back for them. They score again. That's the way you win ball games. Lots of look to add the extra point. And it's good, and they have jumped out here to a quick 14-0 first quarter lead. So that drive, 12 plays in length. And Cortland Sutton able to finish things off with the touchdown reception. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. And Abdullah lost 
the football. And it looks like the defense has got it. Second drive of the game coming up for this Las Vegas offense. They find themselves in a good size hole here in a good size hole early on in this game as they come up on first down. So a teammate picking him up there, that was nearly disaster. And the way that you coach these things, you want to make sure you have eyes towards the return guy because you want to make sure that the catch is secure. And a lot of teams do that. They have at least one guy. Okay, you're responsible for making sure he secures the catch. He's not always the one that makes the recovery, but he can always sound out the alarm. Hey, ball's on the ground. We've got to get it back. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Snap will come from the 31 on second and seven. Off play action, it's Minshew. Looking deep for Adams. And at the seven-yard line, the catch is made. It's a big play there for Vegas. 65 yards. Seems like all the fireworks in this first quarter have been on the other sideline, but here they're saying, hey, we've got some explosive guys on our side too. And that's a big play in a game that's looking like it might be full of big plays. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. White. We'll get about halfway there as he takes this from the four down to the two. Give him two yards on that one. Second and goal now. You get down near the goal line, you need to start enlisting the help of all 11 guys on the defense. And that's a nice job there by the cornerback, squaring his shoulders and coming in to make the tackle. From the two now, second and goal. Now they'll bring one of their tight ends in motion right. White will take this one in for a Vegas touchdown. Well, that was a quick drive. The passing game set it up, and then the running game finishes it off. And how about how few plays it was to get it done, but they threw it downfield and then pounded it into the end zone. And as a former defender, I can tell you, it hurts just a little bit more when they run it into the end zone instead of throwing it. Now for the extra point, Daniel Carlson. And that one makes it 14-7. to seven. So that drive, four plays. And it was finished off with a touchdown run by Zamir White. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Denver's offense ready to go again. Well, this offense looks like they have a little extra pep in their step as they take the field here for drive number three because remember, Charles, drives one and two both ended in the end zone. Yeah, and right now they've just got to be careful not to lean into overconfidence because every drive has a life of its own. But I like the way that they've started, the way that they're going about doing things right now. They've got a chance for that third consecutive touchdown, and that would be a crushing blow to the defense. Throwing to start the drive. Nix and Sutton hauls it in over the middle. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. As a passer, you're always trying to find that open window to throw the ball downfield. How about this one? Right in the middle of the field, right in the heart of a defense. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Looking to throw. Nix. Well, that one drops down, incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. 
That's what you're going to need to do against those big receivers. You got to get in there and get physical with them. That time he got in close, got in tight, and knocked the ball away. Now a second and ten. Now we give up the middle to Williams. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. That one going for a gain of 11 and a Bronco first down. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. Through one corner, 14-7, our score. Second quarter about to begin from Denver. It's the Broncos in possession of the football as they've got it with a first and 10. Back to throw. Nix. He'll find his tight end. It's Adam Troutman. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. 28 yards the game there on the catch and run. You don't always expect tight ends to be big in terms of run after the catch, but after that play, he joins a growing band of players that's putting that stereotype right on its ear. So here's a first and 10 now in Raider territory at the 26-yard line. They'll bring a receiver in motion right. He'll get it here on the jet sweep. And he is into the end zone for a Denver touchdown. Marvin Mims with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Broncos go up by two touchdowns. Well, CD, that's his second touchdown already. And how about this offense? Three drives, three touchdowns. An absolute total team effort right now. And let's face it, I don't think he's done. We're still in the first half. There's a lot of time left to go. I don't know what they're going to do on the other side trying to slow him down. But right now, he's feeling it. Lutz to try to add the PAT. It's good, and it is now 21-7. to the drive summary that time, five plays. And a long run there in the end to top it off. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. The Las Vegas' offense back out there, ready to go. A strong showing their last time out. They scored the touchdown, but Charles, they look up, and they're still down double digits, so you feel like just to keep pace, this drive probably needs to end in the end zone as well. Yeah, and I think the best move for them is to not worry about how far they are down on the scoreboard, but to just remember the last drive and how it ended. Go ahead and try and repeat that. Then you can look at the scoreboard and see where this game is. The drive starts with a run by White. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. I think we all suspected that they were going back to him after he found the end zone on his last carry, and they kept the positive momentum going there. Another nice run by him. From the 33, here's a second and five. Now Minshew. Caught on the right side by Adams. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. When you struggle on offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. First down, here's White. And he's got it across midfield and into Denver territory. And credit the tackle to Brandon Jones. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're a back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. 
Hard to move those 300 plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. Here's Minshew. Oh, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. Fair to say, hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of you nailed it pretty well, you know. He's got to throw it better. Got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught. They got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. His first catch there, good for 10 yards and a first down. And a nice job by the two of them to not only connect on the pitch and the catch, but to carry over their practice work to the game field. They saw the adjustment by the defense, made an adjustment themselves, and picked up the first down. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now back to the ground game with White. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. Looking to throw it, Minshew. He's got the rookie from Georgia. That's Brock Bowers. So eight yards on the completion there, and that will bring up third and one. And there wasn't much room for the big tight end to do much after the catch. But at least he was able to pick up a solid game to help his offense continue to move in the right direction. This will be play number eight here on the drive. It's third and a yard. Oh, and the hard count might have got him. This might be a first down. Yeah, the movement there coming from the middle of the line. And you understand he wants to get off the ball quickly, but the ball's right in front of him. He has to watch it move first. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. Minshew sets to throw. And it's complete to Adams. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. A good pick up there, a 22. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They were starting to move the ball, and what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Back to throw here. And he's going to be swallowed up and taken down. Sacked back at the five-yard line. Not the first and goal play they drew up. Multiple defenders in to bring him down to the ground. On any first and goal, the real estate to work with for the offense is really cut down, and the defense knows it. So they often bring heat and pressure, which they did on this play. Got him down for a loss. Not a big one, but any loss of yardage in this position is tough for an offense. Back at the five-yard line now, second and goal. Looking to throw. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Back-to-back -back great plays defensively. Get the sack on first and goal. A great job in coverage there. All of a sudden, they're looking at third and goal from further back than when they started. And a really good play caller is look ahead and down in distance sequence. Now he's got to backtrack a little bit and go maybe off his play sheet to try and dial something up here. They'll look to throw on third and goal. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Good work by that Bronco defense, and it leads to a fourth down. Like what I see so far out of this defense because they've been showing their best coverages on third down. So far, only allowed one conversion on a handful of attempts. One area of the game plan that they've executed to perfection. The kick by Carlson is good. So a long drive gets him down inside the five, but ultimately they settle for just the field goal. And I have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer, that would have made their decision tougher, and I think they likely would have gone for it. But in this situation, they just decided to take the three, and I think it was a smart move.
After the made field goal, Carlson now sets up to kick this away. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. Denver's offense now set to go. Right now, everything they touch turns to gold. This is their fourth possession. Touchdowns on their first three possessions. I mean, this defense, they can't seem to stop them. It's like they're on skates. Great analogy, Brandon, because they are pushing them back and winning everything at the line of scrimmage. They've just been laying down tracks towards the opposite end zone. So to themselves, all they're saying is, if we don't make a mistake, there's no way they can stop us. Off the play fake, Nix. That's taken in by Dulcich. So the completion good for seven there, and it'll be second down. Such a tough position to defend near the line, even when you add a second defender, but the big man shrugged off the extra body and made the play call a success. From the 38 now, here's second down and three. Looking to throw, Nix. And this one is incomplete. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball, but he was unable to get away from the defender, couldn't create space, couldn't uncover the end of the route, and that one winds up incomplete. The Broncos on third down. A perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. This time it's third and three. Now a tenth carry. Here's Williams. And he will have a Broncos first down. It won't be by much. He needed three and he got three, barely. But the mark shows first down. On third down, that's a good job of situational football and understanding where the first down marker was and getting there. They stick to the ground game on first down. It's Williams. 49 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. But no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. Here's second and three. Back to throw. Knicks. Screenplay set up for Williams. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. And when you have success throwing the football, the old cliche becomes true. The playbook opens up wide. And these screen passes, they become even more difficult to stop. So here's a first and 10 now in Raider territory. Down at the 33. They'll run out of the gun here. Williams. And they'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. Another nice gain. 13 yards that time and another first down. I'm not sure how much more evidence they need, partner, than to understand that if they don't start to slow him down, it's going to be a long afternoon here at the stadium because he is just shredding them at this point. And let's face it, coming into the game, they knew he would be the focal point of their attack. This is going to take an 11-man. And that is caught. Touchdown, Denver. Marvin Mims on his way to a monster game. Three first-half touchdowns as his guys are able to push that lead out a bit further. Well, to put it mildly, he's been able to dice up this secondary all game long, and this time... That was a missile that he threw into the end zone and adding another touchdown to his ledger. And I think we see these youngsters develop a lot quicker than we ever have because when they get started in this game, they're not just throwing passes around. They're reading coverages early. So now they're like seasoned pros earlier in their career. How about this one here? If they win this ball game, a game ball definitely coming from his head coach. Lutz good on the extra point. And the lead is up to 18 now. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And it culminates in a touchdown by the Broncos.
After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. Oh, now how about this return? Now they nearly broke that for more, but as it is, still a good return. They'll start the drive right around the 37. The Raiders offense and Devontae Adams set to take over once more. And seemingly every time they've looked his way in this first half, it has resulted in a big play as borne out by the numbers. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on yeah, the board. Three and, points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. Second and 11 now. Now a give up the middle. This is White. And good running there as he'll take this all the way up to midfield. 14 yards is the pick up there in a Raider first. We often give credit to the O-line there. Two tight end formation. Those tight ends block pretty well also. Yeah, and that's one of the most dynamic positions in football now. The tight ends who can block at the line of scrimmage at the point of attack. And they can also get downfield and catch the football. First carry now for Alexander Madison. And down to the 44, five yards that time. Oh, that was a thing of beauty right there. Look at how quick those blockers fired off the line once the ball was snapped. That was an O-line on a mission, all in sync. And the defense is lucky that play only picked up five yards. Here's a second and five. From the gun, Minshew to throw. That's caught by Tucker. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Out of the gun is Minshew. He's going to wind up and air it out. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. The scoreboard tells the story for him a little bit bleak. And while it's not quite desperation time yet, it's definitely getting close. But the defense reads the scoreboard as well. They're going to back up and make him really earn it. Second and ten. Running from the shotgun with Madison. And he's going to be out down inside the 20 at the 15. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. Pardon, if you want more carries, I think we saw how you get him. Showed that he's got the fresh legs, and he picked up the first down on that run. Don't just ask for him. Show him that you're supposed to get the football. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. They'll look to throw. He completes it right side to White. And he is going to lose yardage here. So maybe just a momentary setback on what's been a great drive so far, but second and 13 here. Now back to throw. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. I'm really liking what I'm seeing from this defense because their coverage has been playing at a shutdown level so far. Even backed up late, they're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep them out of the end zone as the first half winds down. Ninth play of the drive coming up, and certainly not an easy one on third and long. They're going to look to throw. That is caught. Touchdown! Jacoby Myers from 17 yards out. And the Raiders are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. Partner, remember that old film of Peyton Manning going through the route tree with his great receivers in Indianapolis? 
I think we're seeing the results of the same type of work here today. These guys know each other so well, they don't even have to call the play. They can just look each other and know the route that's going to be run, and usually the connection is perfect. Carlson now to add the extra point. And that one makes this an 11-point deficit now. That time, a nine-play drive. And it was all capped off by Jacoby Myers on the touchdown reception. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. The Broncos offense and Bo Nix getting set for this next possession. And he's done everything you could have asked for coming in. He's spread it around. He hasn't taken many chances. And he's potentially on his way to a big game throwing the football. Denver offense at the line, ready to go. A lot of time for this unit to game plan on the sideline after that drive that they watched the other side just score. But remember, last time they were out, they scored as well. We'll see if they can seize that momentum right back. And they have had a lot of time to cool off from reaching the end zone the last time. So have they been able to keep themselves mentally sharp and into this game, even though they haven't been on the field? And you and I both know, one big play, though, gets them right back up to that level. Here's Nix. Slant pass. He's got Reynolds. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. Third and four. Operating from the gun, here's Nix. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he will have the Broncos first down. They needed four, he doubled that. He wound up getting eight. That's a big conversion there on third down because they did not want to give the ball up here late in the half. They'd love to take the clock all the way down and score. This will definitely help the cause. So here's a first and 10 at the 38 to throw. Here's Nix, and his throw is going to be incomplete. You've always been very good about checking my math. Am I correct? That's the first time that it's been incomplete when they've thrown it to him? Yes, he had caught every other ball coming his way. So they feel like they've got something really good going there, and they're going to continue to go there until the defense makes an adjustment and takes it away. Well, they finally made an adjustment there. We'll see if they can build on that stop. Nick's looking to throw again. Looking sideline, incomplete. Well, he's smart enough to avoid the taunting rule, but I'll guarantee he quietly has told them, you might want to stop coming after me downfield because I just broke up another pass and took away a big shot that you were trying to succeed with. Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. To throw is Nick's. Can't get rid of it. He's taken down. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Fourth down, so on is the punter, Riley Dixon. Fair catch called for and made at about the 32-yard line. A 40-yard punt, no return, and it'll be Raiders football first and 10.
They'll try and start this drive in the air. Over the middle complete. That's Myers. Now the Raiders going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Second and a couple. Off play action, it's Minshew. They'll get the tight end Bowers involved there. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. That'll wind up a gain of 27 on the catch and run. Second and short, that's a rundown, so it's definitely a good time to go play action if you're feeling it. And they do so and pick up a first down. And unless this is a quick incompletion, this is likely the last play here of this first half. And that's complete to Adams. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. And with just one second remaining in the first half, they'll call the timeout. So with one second left in the half, on is the field goal unit. He connected on his first, this from 41. The kick by Carlson is good, and that will do it for this first half. So we've reached halftime in a wild first half. We'll take a minute to catch our breath as we send you on out to our studios in Orlando. Here's Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. It was a terrific first half for the rookie first-round pick, Bo Nix. He got off to a hot start with two first-quarter touchdown passes threw another for good measure in the second quarter. So he has been on target throughout. Okay, Coach, appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. It's been a shootout so far. We'll see which defense can make the adjustments as we get back underway in the second half. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. The Raiders have the ball back, and here comes Devontae Adams to the field again. And I know that they double-teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Right. Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. Here's Minshew. Oh, trying to get that to Adams, but that's intercepted. Put up by Riley Moss. And the return across midfield into the 46-yard line. But that one is going to sting. First play of the third quarter and a turnover. And you have to know that at halftime, they spent a lot of time going through their checklist of what they wanted to accomplish to start this third quarter. Turning it over like this was not on that list. Not at all. You, and you come out of the locker room trailing, so that first drive to establish momentum is very key. Crucial. The Broncos offense and their quarterback ready to go once more. And as we show you some of the highlights from earlier, he has been instrumental in getting his guys the lead as he looks to finish strong and close this one out. Nicks to the air. And his throw's going to be incomplete. That was nice work there defensively to force the incompletion. Now, even though this drive started in plus territory, they're still not in field goal range yet. So they can work towards another couple of stops and not allowing that turnover to hurt. Here's second and 10. From the gun, it's a run for Williams. 
And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. And plays like that are exactly what this defense needs here early in the second half to give it a little spark. I think their halftime adjustment, what they talked about, maybe it was just a little inspirational speech. Who knows? But looks like they're ready to go. Nix from the shotgun. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. The rookie from Oregon on target with that one. It leads to a first down. Whenever we talk about moving the sticks and controlling the football, there's a great example right there. Those are the third downs you need to convert to win football games. We're in the third quarter of this one, and this is a tight one. In order to maintain pace, keep the ball away from the other team and put points on the board, those are the plays they need to continue to convert. Throwing Knicks. Open man, and again, it's Sutton. It'll go down as a gain of six, and that's going to bring up second down. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed, because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And yeah, the Broncos are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. Well, they've certainly not shied away from throwing the football as they've leaned on their quarterback to start this game. Four straight passes right out of the gate with that last one earning them a new set of downs. Now it's Knicks. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Another shot from the one on second and goal. Williams will take it in. Touchdown, Denver. Sometimes offense, if you get too cute down near the goal line, but there's nothing fancy about this one. As Coach Lombardi would say, we get a seal here, and we get a seal here, and we run this play in the alley. And that's good work to hit the hole hard and finish in the end zone. Lots of look to add the extra point. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. So that drives seven plays in length. And it was capped off by a Javante Williams touchdown. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. And he won't quite make it to the 25. The Vegas offense ready for their next possession. So now, Charles, this drive, maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you and interceptions result. So, frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're still with it, and how you continue to lead. They start to drive with White. Now he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. You've got to figure the further they fall behind, the more you think that they'll get away from the run. They're trying to stick with it, but the results, they just aren't there. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. They keep it on the ground wide again. And yeah, not much there. Maybe a yard up to the 24. Sometimes your philosophies get challenged at times you don't want them to. They did try to stick to the running game on the first two plays, 
didn't amount to much. And now facing a third and long at the outset of this drive. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Looking to throw it, Minshew. And throw right side here, going to be incomplete. Looks like another empty possession offensively. And you're at that point in the game where you can't afford too many more of these. So this is going to require some heavy thinking on the sideline to figure out what they can do to crack this defense. Here's A.J. Cole now as he'll punt it away for the second time. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. Fair catch signaled for and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. And the football going back over to the Denver Broncos. And as we look back at how we got here, you'll notice a common theme in these highlights. A lot of yardage through the air. The passing game has been sharp right from the outset. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. And now whistles and a flag, and I think we got a jump here. So they jumped on the left side of that line. And you know when you're at the end spot, you are like in the starting blocks, waiting for the pistol to fire and go, and he jumped a little bit too early. So a first and five now after the five-yard penalty from the neutral zone infraction. They'll hand it off now, Williams. And a gain of four gets him right to the midfield strike. Only four yards on that gain, but... You know, a lot of people would say that's like getting nine in normal circumstances since this was first and five. Yeah, now your playbook's wide open here, second and very short. Yeah, I still don't think that you can count it in the stats that way at contract time. No, no, it still goes down as four, not okay. nine. <laughs> Off the play fake, here's Nix. Throw out wide is incomplete. So many times we've seen him try to escape the pocket and do something with his legs, but in this case, the pressure was too intense and he made the wise choice to just get rid of the football and make sure no one was going to get it. They tried the throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. Off the play fake, Nix. Being chased at left. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Call it a loss of four there on the sack. And speaking of the number four, it brings up fourth down now. And Charles, they only needed a yard there. They try to pass the football. What do you think? Well, I can't really go all out and kill them for the call because that third and one fake and throw it over the top for a big play, that often does work. But in this situation, the pressure got to him. Here's Riley Dixon now as he'll kick it away for the second time. So out come the Raiders. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets them to second and four. Now, Brandon, that's the way you want to run the football. There should almost be quote bubbles above the offense right now. Bam, boom, biff. That's how they feel good about moving the football. Second down and four. Flag comes in. This might be a free play. And this is incomplete, but a flag back at the line of scrimmage. 
And this could be a first down. And that one was relatively easy to see. I noticed that from up here. Yeah, it doesn't take a whole lot, does it? Sometimes you get multiples. What I always love on these offsides is when each side points at the other. Hey, you <laughs> did it. No, you did it. They deciphered that one correctly. They'll go up the middle with White. Able to slither by. And yet again. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. 67 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. They had a chance to limit his yardage, but he was able to fight off that tackle. So it's not just the responsibility of the guys who missed the tackles along the way. It's all 11 on defense, able to stop this guy, unable to do it on that play. They've got to find a way. How about his ability to break through and gain that yardage? Here's Madison running on first down. Knifes his way forward here, but just three yards on the play, second down. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Here's second and seven. Another carry now for Madison. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. Well, we looked at each other right when he flinched. We knew that that flag was coming. Yeah, offsides, easy call, mark off the five, and keep it moving. Second and two now. The penalty leaves him in pretty good shape. They run straight ahead here with White. And he'll be brought down at about the 42. They follow up the gain of five by only getting one there on second down. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. They'll go play action here with Minshew. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have the Raiders' first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moot. And yeah, they were right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. side by Adams so he stopped for no game and that'll make it second down well, that was a simple throw and catch but even with that completion zero yards gained so they're behind schedule on down and distance I think they were hoping to get it to him he could make a man or two miss but that window closed quickly second and ten now third quarter action in Denver from the gun men shoot a throw and his throw is incomplete and now offensively, it's third and ten, and I'm just thinking to myself, actors always say, what's my motivation before a big scene? Right now, the play caller is thinking, what have I done before that's worked well that I can go to right now? Yeah, because they were pretty successful in the first half scoring points. Haven't done anything so far here in the second half. Minshew sets to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And this is going to be another first down as they'll make the tackle at the Broncos 19. 18 yards, a big pickup there on third down. What a drive this has been, just chewing up the yardage. And here's one of their best plays yet as they finally get down into the red zone and look to finish this off with six. First and 10, and they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. On a handoff, it's White. He'll get forward for three down to the 16-yard line. He's had success on this drive, but not on this play. Finally, they bowed up defensively. I think they were determined not to let him take it pretty much all the way down the field. Yeah, it looks like they handled their run responsibilities correctly this time. What we call them run fits, everyone was in the right place.
Now Minshew. And this will be incomplete. Anytime a ball's thrown in the middle of the field has popped up in the air, I expect someone to catch. It doesn't matter whether it's offense or defense because there's usually a great amount of bodies in that part of the field. In this case, no one came up with it. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Out of the gun is Minshew. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Tucker. And down inside the 10 here before he's out of bounds right around the 7. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Well, they've had a great, impressive drive going here, and that pickup ensures the drive continues. And not only do you continue the drive, which is demoralizing for the guys on the defensive side of the ball right now, but you make your own defense happy. They're able to get a little more rest over on the sidelines. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Raider touchdown. Zamir White with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Raiders go coast to coast and finish the drive off with six points. Sometimes you get a first and goal and you're back near the seven, eight, nine yard line and you start thinking, maybe we'll run it here on first down to get half of what we need so maybe we can have two or three shots at going for it from closer range. So this is a bonus right here. What a great run to work his way into the end zone. Carlson on for the PAT. And this one's back to an eight-point game. That one in the books as a 12-play drive. And it was finished off with a touchdown run by Zamir White. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. And Denver getting set to take the field. Still enjoying the lead here in the third quarter despite their defense giving up that last touchdown. Now they'll see if they can get the equalizer here on this drive. They'll go play action with Nix. And he will not make it back to the line of scrimmage as he's going to be taken down. Max Crosby able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. And for the defense, their third sack of the game. That number tells you that they're starting to put it together with their defensive game plan. They're starting to feel pretty good about what the offense is doing, bringing the pressure at the right time, and putting the quarterback on the ground. Second and 11. Throwing left side, it's complete. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. So both teams trade touchdowns, and the third is worth through three quarters of play. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back now to Denver. It's Bronco football, and they also have the lead here as we get set for the fourth. Here's Nix. And that's going to be caught by Sutton. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. Getting it to him in space pays off big time. That winds up going for 31. <laughs> well, this game has certainly had no shortage of offense. Both teams have been revved up from the start. And here's yet another big play. Boy, both defenses have just got to be dragging out there because they've been run ragged throughout. So the big play gets them all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. 
out of the gun. They'll look to throw. And this is caught for a Bronco touchdown. Josh Reynolds, a 22-yard touchdown grab. And the Broncos have opened up a two-touchdown lead here in this fourth quarter. Well, partner, I mean, if anybody was still questioning whether or not he had an NFL caliber arm, I think you can toss that right out the window. That was a heck of a throw right there. I would agree totally. Question it no more. This rookie, big time throw right there. Great poise, stepped up, trusted he could lay it in there perfectly, and he knew that his guy was going to make the catch on the other end. Nice collaboration. Lutz with the extra point, and the lead is up to 15 now. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. Oh, a good return up past the 30. And a good kick pays off as he's only able to get this out past the 10-yard line. The Raiders offense and their running back, Zamir White, getting set for their next drive. And he has put in a full game's work and then some. Just an incredible performance on the ground to this point in the fourth quarter. The offense for Las Vegas about set to begin the drive. The last time out, they had to march almost the full length of the field for their touchdown. So here, much easier, Charles, with this better starting field position. I love your sarcasm, but I love even more your observation because, look, what they did last time out, now with a shorter field, they should have a lot of confidence that they're going to put more points up on the board. Going for the knockout blow right there. I think if I'm up two scores... I'd be worried about an interception, but playing this way is what got him this lead. So you may as well ride it out to the end. On second and ten, Minshew. On the out route, this is Adams with a catch. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. Good yardage on the completion there. And when they look at the scoreboard, they do understand a field goal is not going to do them any good. My guess, they're going to press the ball downfield as far as possible, try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that done and get the ball back as quickly as possible. Now a give to White. And yeah, nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. Second down. They've called his number a lot this afternoon. You wonder how much tread is left on those tires. We certainly do, but I always think back to one of my favorite coaches in the NFL. I used to have a meeting with his running backs every year in the offseason and say, look, as many times as you're going to carry the ball, you should be able to carry it one more time. So make sure you get in shape. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. Opted to run for it. The decision, a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. He certainly isn't looking at the scoreboard out there because, to me, all he's concerned about is he analyzing the field and making most of the time left in this game. Deficit's still there, but he's starting to hit them with some big plays. On first down, he'll drop to throw. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. It's another zone defense. It looks like it's open for possibilities, but they did a nice job patrolling the middle of the field and forcing an incompletion. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. They'll set up a throw. That's caught by Tucker. And this is going to be another first down as they'll make the tackle at the Broncos 21. 11 yards for number 11. Well, they obviously red man covers their partner, and he got downfield, broke down the defender, made him what think. What do you mean by that? Broke yeah, up. he made him think he was going to run a different route. Probably thought he was going to take it upfield. Then he curls back inside for the completion. 
Now a play fake here on first down. Over the middle, that's caught by Adams. And he is in. Touchdown, Raiders. Devontae Adams from 21 yards away. And the Raiders get a bit closer. So this is now a nine-point difference. You figure the book here says kick the extra point, make it a one-score game. Now, you and I have seen coaches get overly aggressive in this spot, but I agree with you. Kick it here and get back within a score. And now in a nine-point game, they'll still just need to go for one here. As this gets them back within a touchdown and a two-point conversion. So this drive spans seven plays. And Devontae Adams able to finish things with a touchdown reception. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. The home team's offense and their quarterback headed out for this next possession. And he has been masterful so far in leading this offense. He's kept the mistakes to a minimum. He's been on point with his passes. And he's generally been one step ahead of this defense all game long. Denver offense at the line, ready to go. Their lead back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago. First down's a must on this drive as they start out here first and 10. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. But right there, he rose to the occasion late in a close game. It's something he thought about, dreamed about, and worked on throughout his career. Because in these types of situations, he wasn't going to allow extra coverage to keep him from getting the football. To throw, here's Nix. He completes this to Sutton. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. These two have hooked up nine times now this afternoon as they pick up the first. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage. So timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. On play action, here's Nix sliding out of the pocket. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. I certainly like what he did right there because he smartly wanted to avoid forcing anything downfield because nothing appeared to be open. Nice harmless slide there to avoid the big hit. And he gets a small gain on the play. Operating from the gun, here's Nix. On the slant, completes to Sutton. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 33. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. So they'll come up first in 10 now from the 33. Now a man who's been busy this afternoon, it's Williams. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. If you can keep getting gains like that, Charles, with the lead here in the fourth quarter, I mean, keep running it, right? No doubt about it, but what the offense coordinator has to do is understand they're going to continue to stack the line of scrimmage. What runs do you have in your arsenal that'll work against a stacked box and continue to move the ball? Short throw caught by Dulcich. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Well, that should be a reminder defensively, and I think it's a reminder to myself because you just can't sell out to stop the run. There's still enough time that this offense can move the football through the air, even on first and second downs, and they obviously picked the right spot to throw the ball there. To throw is Nix. And Sutton hauls it in over the middle. And they'll get this down to the 10. 
12 yards as they get to reset the sticks. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down. Stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. And movement by one of the Broncos up front. And in comes the flag. Oh, jumping early from his tight end spot. Maybe trying to get a jump start on that route. Yeah, I think you're exactly right about that. And oftentimes when you see that, that means the play call was supposed to come in his direction, and he was eager to go catch a pass. Nicks to the air. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Not too many missteps in the red zone thus far. He was going for his fifth touchdown pass. His man couldn't shake free there, but boy, you know he's going to take another shot before this one's over. Yeah, exactly, because you know three is good, four is excellent. <laughs> you get five, that's a whale of a game. Throwing Knicks. Oh, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. Well, partner, guaranteed they approach this play with the idea of making up ground to make third down manageable. Unfortunately, with that incompletion, right back where they started on the last snap. Now they need a big third down play in order to pick up the yardage needed. Mims in motion right. They'll fake the jet sweep and instead of give up the middle to Williams. He will push his way down to about the 14. Just a yard on the run there, and that's going to bring us to a fourth down. This has been an up-and-down, back-and-forth type of a game, hasn't it? Maybe this long drive could take a little bit of the wind out of their sails, kind of settle things down a little bit. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. This to make it a two-score game. The kick by Lutz is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So that CD, an important one here in the fourth quarter. And that importance cannot be overstated. All eyes on both sidelines were staring that one down all the way. The significance is that they made it a two-score game. Still lots of time left to go, but likely that was their goal at the start of the drive. Get three points, make it a two-score game, and they were able to get it done. Following the made field goal, Lutz to kick it away. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. The Raider offense now making their way toward the huddle. And the complexion of this one has changed a fair amount. That last field goal made it a two-score game, so they need to get points out of this drive relatively quickly. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. They'll start the drive with a give to White. And the defense closes quickly there, and they'll get maybe a yard to the 33. Defense is always talking about earning the right to rush the passer on third down, and you know what offenses want? Win first down, so that can set things up for themselves better. And that wasn't helpful there, not a big impact on first down. Under four to go now as the clock runs, and they come up on second down. Here's Minshew. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Adams. Give him a gain of five on the completion. And that'll bring us to a third and four. Those short little routes probably going to be open. The defense, they'll let those happen, especially when they can make an inbounds tackle. Yeah, where's Coach Madden when you need him? He always talked about taking what the defense gives you, but sometimes you have to know when you have to take more. That was one of those situations. I had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. Well, he certainly thought he had a window to push that ball downfield, but as soon as he released the throw, the corner was there to slam that window shut. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. The time to pull out the stops is now, and they convert there on fourth down.
Looking to throw it. Minshew. That's to Bowers once again. And he'll get positive yardage there as he'll be touched down. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. Good work by Minshew there to pick up the first. As he came to the line of scrimmage, he knew he didn't need much to reset the chain, so when he saw the space he needed, no hesitation. He went to the marker and got his guys a first down. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. I like how he hung in there and went through his progressions, but eventually his internal clock went off and told him it was time to make a run for it, and he ends up sliding down with a solid gain. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Raider football as we get you reset. Here's second down and three. He'll drop to throw. Over the middle, he's got Myers. All three timeouts remain, but they've got to score quick. It's first and ten. It's grabbed over the middle by Wayne. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as he'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Here's Minshew. That's into the hands of his tight end, Bowers. Fifth catch of the game for him there. Yeah, and the tight end position is now becoming a volume pass catcher. It used to be occasional, right? Safety valve, throw one to him every so often, but more, mainly they want him out there to block. Nowadays, an integral part of the passing game, and they create such great mismatches that they often become the leading receiver. And it's caught. Now the Raiders going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they get it with under a minute to go now in the football game. Now second down and a few inches. Minshew. And he takes this one into the end zone, and all of a sudden, here in the final minute, things get a little bit tighter. I'm not sure win-win is the proper term here, but it certainly felt like it. They got the touchdown they needed, but if I'm on the defensive side of the ball, okay, you got the touchdown, but it sure took you a long time. Yeah, because offensively there, you're probably hoping for a one-to-five play drive. That one ate up a little more time than they were hoping. You're exactly right, and if you have that one-to-five play drive, you actually build up momentum and even more hope. When they had to slog their way downfield, they got the touchdown, but it's almost like, ah. Uh, yeah. yeah, you know. It doesn't you got, feel right. Exactly. <laughs> Now Minshew, eluding the pressure right. And he will get into the end zone as a two-point conversion is successful. And the lead is down to a field goal here in the fourth. So there is still time, a little over 50 seconds to go, but this becomes a critical onside kick. 
And the Broncos are able to recover, and that should just about wrap this one up. The risk-reward of the onside kick, when you don't get it, the risk comes out to play, and here they gave up great field position. And that's the key to everything, because you're trying your best to press advantages when you have them, and field position leads you to that type of play calling, and whether you want to blitz or whether you want to throw the ball deep, those types of things, now that they've given up that type of field position, the advantage is switched to their opponent. The win for the Broncos, seemingly assured they go down to a knee. Now the Raiders going to burn their third and final timeout as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in quarter number four. And they will take a knee here. So he'll take a knee here to wrap this one up, and he's going to want to keep that game ball. He was sensational. 